How's it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA San Andreas mission walkthrough. This mission is the final Woozy mission. And then the W icon disappears from the map. And you will not hear from Woozy until a certain point in the future. This mission is called the Da Nang Fang. And yeah, it involves a little swimming, but it's not the depressing part that is involved in this mission. I will explain as we go through the mission. Uzi, my man. CJ, you caught me on my way out. Business? This is the big one. This is the one that is going to seal my place in the red gecko tongue. But something's come up, and I got to sort things out myself. Excuse me. Little lion, what's the news? Damn. Why today of all days? Okay, shit. Uh, take Guppy and go check it out. Trouble? The Danang boys are arriving today on a container ship. Little Lion's gone to check it out. I really gotta go, too. Hey, man, look. Don't even trip. I'm a handless for you, all right? Thanks, my friend. Your help and friendship has been invaluable to me. Thanks, man. What are other guys? Oh, they're getting a helicopter to do a couple of flybys of the ship. Look, if everything goes well, I'll call you in a week or so and invite you to my new spot. Hey, CJ, what are you doing here? Just bumped into Woozy on his way out. He filled me in. I thought I'd go with him. Well, we ain't rolling. Whoa, Merlin. Strap in and strap up. Okay, in this case, it really doesn't matter how many guys you shoot uh, from the helicopter and what you do because the helicopter is going to be shot down, but you can try and uh, take the guys down using the machine gun on the helicopter. Once the rocket launcher starts firing, things go wrong. G! RPG! Where? Which side? We're hit! We're going down! Race for impact! Ah! The depressing part is CJ loses everything except his knife. And it's easy to swim to the boat and swim to the side of the boat. And once you hit the red marker, the mission begins. Can you see any survivors? No, nobody getting out of that alive. After taking this guy down with a stealth action knife kill, there is a specific way you can climb up these crates and have the advantage over the bad guys. And I will walk you through. Now you see that guy up there? You can see him right here. Shoot him with the shotgun a couple times. He falls. You can run over. And you should be able to grab his machine gun, even though you don't see the guy. And it'll make a click noise. Now, you can flip to the machine gun. And what you want to do is you want to stay toward the south end of the crates. It's a pain in the ass to climb in this game. But you stay to the south end and you climb up, or try to climb up. And once you are there, you shoot out the two guys that are over here. And you can try and get their guns if they haven't disappeared. Then you position yourself here, and you can take those guys out at a long distance. They will come at you, and you can shoot them, yeah, with a shotgun. And then you've got to jump down quickly and get climb up quickly on the other side and get their weapons before they disappear. Now, once you get their weapons, 
you start in again it's a pain in the ass to climb but you get the machine guns from this this guy and you miss this guy's machine gun but you flip to the machine gun and you go into stealth mode and use the crates for cover peer around the corner and you jump out you can shoot this guy and run over to grab his machine gun and then you come around the corner roll out shoot this guy wait shoot this guy and then go and get their machine guns i'm waiting a second and then now getting the machine gun you come around here this guy comes jumping down you shoot him and you can get his machine gun now before you go on turn around and over here in what appears to be another area is an elk cove with health and cj's health can be boosted now you work your way down these crates and around the storage containers there's that guy there you come out fire and you can get his machine gun now there's other guys here you got to worry but once you get into the open here there's going to be that guy and you shoot at him then there's these two guys you take them down and you don't bother trying to take this guy down you run toward this alcove and get more ammunition ammunition sorry about that and you sneak up here now the guy has probably fallen into the pit trying to get you yeah don't shoot the crates but you stand up and you can try and jump over the pit you see the guy he's right there you shoot him get his gun and then you climb out of the crates and it should be relatively smooth going check this area and jump down jump down and you will be at the next part of the mission now I'm going to skip that and come over here. What happens is you're not going to start the mission. And I want to explore the boat just a little bit more to see if there's any bad guys. If not, I'll go back. And there probably is not any more bad guys. Ugh. Okay. Now jump up over and there is no other bad guys they would come out if there were and there's the main entrance to the boat and bridge if you're getting through the next part of the mission so on to the next part of the mission which is going down into this hold area and rescuing some people Keep it down! You wanna bring the snakehead down here? Okay, there's obviously people in that crate, and you're gonna rescue them, but you gotta take care of these guys who just recognized you. Jump off, and you gotta be in stealth mode and take out these guards. They'll come at you very quickly, and you can keep moving forward very quietly. And you will have somewhat of an advantage over the guys. Now, this is where things get a little weird after a certain point because these guys just keep running into your gunfire, and you know, you can just keep shooting them down. They're really bad shots. But once you can get their machine pistols, you only have to deal with one guy and this is where it gets a little weird because he yells at you and then throws a grenade you happy now stick this up your ass the sad part is you don't see the grenade and uh that's where most people get killed and they don't have enough armor or health for cj now once you get this guy 
he has nothing. He threw his grenade at you. You got to open up the padlock, which is actually the opposite direction I'm having CJ run. And once you shoot off the padlock, you realize the bad guys were smuggling human beings. Please! The snake had tricked us! We're prisoners! Please help us escape! The snakehead is up on the bridge! Okay, the cut scenes show that there's going to be armed men protecting the snakehead, and he's sort of some sort of ninja type guy. And then CJ has to get to the bridge and fight his way to the snakehead, who, to be honest with you, is kind of wimpy, but. I don't want to spoil things too much for you. I'm going to fast forward because the climb sucks. The bodyguards are relatively easy to take down. You can jump up, shoot the guy, and then get CJ onto the boat or onto the bridge. Just use stealth mode and walk CJ up the stairs carefully. There will be guys shooting at you. They will be taken down pretty quickly. And then there is the final stairs up to the snake head. Enough! We settled this here! Once you get the sword, just be really, really aggressive. And you can take the snake head down real quickly. Then you have to get back to the refugees in order to complete the mission. Thank you for everything! There you go. CJ did the humanitarian thing and got some respect from Woozy. Now, I'm going to explain this to you if you haven't already done the Mike Trino's last flight mission. You've just been stripped of all your weapons. The weapons by the garage will work well if you've done the photo opportunity. Otherwise, you're going to have to rearm up somehow. And one of the things you should get is the rocket launcher by the airport. Because if you do Mike Trino's last flight, that one is a much nicer rocket launcher. And it serves you better during that mission. Anyway, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like what I've done, hit the like button. Subscribe if you like the type of walkthrough videos I'm doing. Don't forget to stop by my website, barstoolentertainment.com, for, for free comic every Sunday. I post videos every Sunday and Wednesday on this YouTube channel. Again, don't forget to like or subscribe. And thanks for stopping by. Stick this up your ass!